Too good to be true. Too good to be true. Conventional wisdom says it is because in three years of testing ethers, we have never had even one breakdown. Moreover, we have never even heard any complaint of the heat. How is this even possible? So we asked Tarun Mehta what we would have to do to make the Aether 450X falter to show a sign, any sign that the scooter couldn't handle the pressure. And he told us that it would be hard to do. But a super hot day, a full fast charge followed by a warp mode run would be the way to generate the maximum heat possible and strain the system to the core. So I asked, what if we went ahead and tried it? Who stopped you? He laughed. So here we are. Nagpur is running peak temperatures of 43 degrees Celsius. It's super hot in the afternoon and the Aether 450X from Nagpur's Aether Center has been fast charging since the past one hour in the sun. Yes, fast charging will generate more heat and put the entire system under immense stress. Outside of lighting a bonfire under the battery pack, yeah, yeah I know, fires and EVs when you put them together in one sentence it usually leads to burn all memes. But we couldn't think of a better, harsher way to kick this off. It's us versus the Aether 450X. Who will the heat affect first? And I'm telling you, Nagpur is extremely hot right now. As you can see, sweating, it's almost getting annoying and cranky. It is critical that we don't let the battery rest. So as sweaty and hot as I'm feeling, I'm going to unplug the scooter and ride off as soon as the charger hits 75%. Fast charging and warp mode flat out after that. Something should definitely go wrong here. Alright then, here we go. The plan is to go through three different sections of the city. The traffic is Way too much. The Aether space here is located inside the city and to get out will take a while. So I'm going to be riding slowly quite a lot. What's going to happen here is there's going to be no airflow. The fan has to do all the work. That's also going to add another level of stress to the scooter. Situation number two is going to be on an empty patch of road like the one that I am on right now. There is airflow, but my throttle is also completely pinned. So that puts an enormous amount of strain on the BMS. We were told that the heat management system works and clearly the proof is in the pudding. Sun's still hot, the scooter is running fine. Now the third section of this test will involve me taking the Aether 450X up an incline because gravity isn't really an EV's best friend. Oh my god, Nagpur is hot. I mean, I thought being on a scooter with all this airflow through this mesh jacket will help, but it's just hot air, so this isn't really helping me at all. Finally, we're going to check the true range. Now, Aether claims the number that it shows on its display is actually the number that you will cover when you start your trip. So, we're going to check how accurate that number is. This is the data, current ride, average speed, percentage, estimated range left. When we unplugged the scooter from the charging port, we saw about 36 kilometers of range on the scooter. And finally, after all the testing that we did, and we boiled it down to the last one kilometer of range left, and the scooter is showing 34.8 kilometers of distance covered. So in that sense, the system is very accurate, very smart in showing you one thing and actually getting that thing done. Oh, this has been exhausting to be honest. It has to be one of the most impressive tests that we have ever done. Now, I need to take two days off definitely, rehydrate myself, probably sit in a room with the AC set to 16. But Aether 450X has been flawless. We pushed it as hard as we could, try to go to hell and back. But everything that we did 
did not produce any sort of reaction from the scooter at all, like zero. For me, that is extremely impressive and it just goes to show that the scooter is an amazing product. Now, what did we learn from this? Number one, the Aether 450X clearly is our favorite electric scooter in the market right now. Yes, it might not have the specs that other scooters might have or even that it's expensive than the other scooters. But when the buck stops, the Aether does not. Also, people think that EVs and batteries are such a foreign concept and that is why they are not stable and they are not reliable. But the Aether 50 x clearly has a different story to tell because it is made in India and the people at the company have done a fantastic job. Now, we are told that this will survive the rains as well. Shall we go and do some testing? <laughs>